DRM stands for Customer Relationship Management, as it refers to a technique for learning more about consumers' needs, wants, and behaviors in order to develop a strong relationship with them. A good company depends on having strong customer relationships. CRM should not be viewed in a technical terms, rather it should be viewed as a mechanism that puts together a collection of data regarding revenue, consumers, marketing effectiveness, patterns, and responsiveness. It's a collection of individuals, systems, tools, and internet capabilities that assist business in managing their customer relationship in an effective and systematic manner. CRM aims to consider and predict the demands of existing and prospective customers, as well as to maximize customer satisfaction and loyalty by expanding the way product and services are sold. CRM's goal is to gather data on any interaction a company has with a customer through all channels and store it in the CRM system so the company can truly understand customers behavior. The CRM program assists the company in creating a database for its customers to which all partners including managers, salespeople and customer service providers can gain access in order to determine the customer's needs of products and offering. Apple's CRM strategy can be boiled in just words, Apple ID. When an Apple product is purchased, firstly the customer is asked to make an Apple ID. It is a unique ID that syncs all your Apple products and devices. Also, Apple support is very easy to reach and it may be the reason why the switching cost is very high, because they pay attention for their customers and their problems, but this is not the only strategy of Apple's success. They also use some more CRM strategies strategies which we will introduce later. Customer relationship management is a critical technology used to manage all the relationships of companies with their customers. It helps companies build interaction and connection with customers, potential customers and increase the profit of the company. On 24th September 2018, Apple and Salesforce made a strategic partnership to make a number one CRM. It brings the best quality of customer relations, advanced mobile system, customer relationship management platform, and new mobile apps for business. The CEO of Apple, Tim Cook, said that they are excited to work together. He further said that Apple and Salesforce would deliver great and satisfied customer service together and deliver excellent customer service for further business development. Let's take a step back. Apple is an international company. It was established by Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Ronald Wayne. It was incorporated on 3rd January 1977. It designs and manufactures mobile communication devices, personal computers, portable digital music, and video players. It sells various related software services, peripherals, and network solutions. This company's products are sold out globally through various means like online shops, resellers, value-added resellers, third-party resellers, and so on. Moreover, this company sells iPhone and iPad, compatible products, Macintosh, application software, storage devices, printers, speakers, headphones, and various other accessories. Smartphones store a lot of personal data, such as email or social media profiles, updates and messages, the amount of actions we take each day, and even personal biometric data, such as fingerprints, while all of this can make it easier for stalkers. Predators can use this info to track, manipulate, and intimidate them. As of 2015, 71.6% of mobile users in the United States used a smartphone, with 94 million of these smartphones being iPhones. The main reason behind that is the safety and privacy that Apple ID provides, also the great features that come along with it, such as iCloud services. The majority of iPhone users also use Apple's iCloud service, which is a cloud-based service that helps you users store music and other data such as photos, games, contacts, emails, and documents. iCloud can be accessed from any linked Apple device or by logging into the iCloud account from a computer. 
If you back up your device to iCloud after resetting or updating your phone, you just need to sign back into your account for all your applications and settings to reset on your device. Second feature is Find My iPhone. Users can identify the location of their device by logging into iCloud if they find My iPhone feature is enabled in the device settings. This feature is intended to assist you in locating your smartphone if it has been lost or stolen. However, certain people will use this feature to locate another user. Users who are worried about their location privacy can disable this feature by going to settings, iCloud, and switching Find My iPhone to off. Now, let's talk about technology and its main IT infrastructure components. IT infrastructure is a critical component that any good enterprise requires in order to design an information system, such as computer hardware, software, operating system platforms, networking and telecommunications, data management and storage, internet services, consultants and system integrations. All of these are examples of IT connectivity components. Many of these components are required for building any device. But the most important ones for Apple ID are Data management and storage There are two types of storage, which are primary and secondary. The primary is a memory which provides data and instructions quickly. It's made up of RAM and ROM. Secondary storage, on the other hand, is referred to as a permanent storage due to its characteristics such as capacity and non-volatility. This component allows Apple ID to store and upload the user's data, as well as remember his details such as credit card, purchased applications, Apple Pay, music, videos, photos, and contacts. Internet Platforms The Internet is a global network that connects large networks in virtually every country by using common standards. Internet technology creates new products, programs, and businesses. Registered worker and managers can access the Apple ID of users through the internet. Also, they can use information they need for reviewing, reporting, and making recommendations. Let's move to business process and functions impacted by the system. Apple distinguishes products where most vendors have concentrated on adding more and more features, rather than making the product convenient to use although adding more features could increase demand in the early days. It may also take the product overly complex, making it harder for consumers to use. For example, the inclusion of new features to Microsoft Word initially increased interest, but later made the software more difficult for general users. As a result of resulting complication of products, made it impossible to sell in the consumer market. The second step is to see how Apple can create a new product that's significantly easier for consumers to use, but still capturing the essential functionality created by other users in the industry. The third stage entails determining if the company proposed product or platform can have compelling competitive advantage in the long run. This entails determining whether any of the current providers have an integrated platform for devices and other services. Is the current vendor's platform adequate? Will a platform created by the organization itself be able to keep customers faithful to the company in the long run? The second question is critical for Apple because it relies on long-term consumer retention for apps like iTunes and the iPhone. Once the product or platform meets all of the above criteria, Apple begins developing designs with a focus on functionality and complexity, which are hallmarks of the Apple brand. Aside from the simple functions that are considered important in the product, Apple usually prioritizes design, convenience, and the user-friendliness over the inclusion of more and more additional features. Apple hires the best product designers in the world to achieve this goal. The focus on these elements elevates all Apple products to the status of potential IT lost items and fashion accessories for customers. The mantra is to create something truly exclusive for which customers would be able to pay a high price premium. 
Apple then launches both the product and the network at the same time, enabling customers to get quickly involved with each other and with the company in the long run. Product manufacturing is often outsourced to companies in countries such as China, where it can be done at a fraction of the cost of manufacturing in the US or Europe. Apple's business process often includes revising goods at frequent intervals, based on factors such as product cycle and expense. New releases incorporate industry technical innovations. However, Apple maintains the updated releases provide some extra enhancements such as better fit and finish, looks, fashion, etc. And finally, the business and organizational impact by the system. First, better customer service. A CRM system can help an organization personalize its relationship with its clients. The program often includes repository that can store users' profile, allowing each person to be treated separately rather than jointly. Second, increased customer revenues. CRM will aid in customer satisfaction by introducing and implementing loyalty plans focused on the consumer's needs and desires. Third, faster sales processes. A company will benefit from faster contract closing process. CRM will help make this possible by providing a faster and more efficient response to consumer information and leads. Fourth, more efficient and effective call center. The faster solutions provided by CRM systems will help a company call center. Customers' order history and information can be accessed by customer service and call center agents much more easily, making client targeting much simpler. In conclusion, CRM system is a tool that assists in tracking change in customers' profile. Incorporating this knowledge into product planning and adding value to the actual customer. Today's customers are global and have a high level of demand for cognition, recognition, acceptance, and appreciation. They favor marketers who can provide a high quality product, provide prompt service, restore, fix issues, and upgrade goods. Marketers strive for a strong and long-lasting relationship with their clients.